What's up guys, so uh, Secret Crow 79 here. Um, I haven't done any shoe reviews in a while. The last shoe review I did was uh, of the Jordan Retro 1 Pinnacle. So uh, you guys go check out that video when uh, if you guys have a chance. But I'm doing a review today of all the Katie's, Katie model shoes that I've collected over the years. I started originally collecting shoes around 2012. Um, so I missed out on a lot of shoes. Um, and I didn't actually buy any of the KD6 models until this pair dropped. I was a little bit skeptical at first because of the uh, tongue, um, of how it, uh, just the design of the shoe. It looked a little bit weird, but when I first bought the shoe and tried it on, it was extremely comfortable. The material um, of most of these shoes are made of this like plastic-like material. I don't really know what it's called. Um, I kind of forgot, but um, I really like this design. Uh, this was the first shoe I bought. You guys can see I wear this shoe a lot. And you guys can kind of see the crease pattern right here. Normally they don't really crease, but you can see it's like dipping down right there. Maybe I need to put like a a shoe, um, you know, a shoe insert in there to uh, so that way it pops it back up. But this was the first KD6 I bought. This was uh, the Liger model. Of course, it was a uh, you know like uh, tiger and lion design. So um, I really like this pair a lot, and this is what got me going into uh, collecting KD6s. The price for it for them back then was 130, so it was a really reasonable price for a really outstanding shoe. So this was the first pair of shoes I got for the KD6 model line. I'm gonna put this back here, and I'm gonna show you all the other shoes I got. So the second shoe I think I got after that was the um, the KD6 Easter. Um, I kind of like the uh, camo design, although it's a very bright green color sh colorful shoe. It wasn't very popular, but I liked it. Um, so I went and copied it, you know, for $130. Um, it wasn't that bad, so I just went ahead and bought it. Um, the signature is still in there, so you guys can see I haven't really worn these a lot. But, uh, you guys, you do see that I've worn them, so I got this model next. Alright, and then the shoe I think I picked up after that was the, uh, the, uh, the All-Star, uh, KD6, Gumbo, Nola model and this is a really dope colorway um, the bottom glows in the dark and this symbol glows in the dark and this glows in the dark so when I I know so when I leave it out at night if I take them off and I just put them on the floor and I turn the lights out in the room uh, these really glow in the dark uh, you know the, the glow in the dark really stands out and this just turned out to be a really dope colorway so I, I'm glad I really got this shoe uh, it's you know, I really like this model. So, I, and I wear these a lot actually. It's just, um, I got so many shoes to rotate through that uh, it's difficult to get around to wearing them again. So if you guys are following me on Instagram, you probably haven't seen me wear these shoes in a while. So that's the KD6 All-Star game. And then the shoe I think I got after that was the uh, Reverse Home Away colorway. And I really like this model too because uh, you can see this pattern right here if you were to hit it with 3M this whole area would light up um, and reflect and this blue right here really pops and stands out so these were the uh, KD6 models I got and last but not least well not last but not least but I got the KD6 what the KDs okay so I'm gonna show both of the pairs on this shoe because they're both different you can see the pattern design came from the uh, reverse home colorway. This is over here on the Liger design. This came from probably um, the Elite model. Um, I'm not sure where that came from. This was probably from the uh, N7, or I'm not even certain. And uh, no, I don't think that came from the N7. Well, maybe it did, but um, there's some Scottish pattern design on the inside of that. I don't know where this 
hello it came from. This maybe came from the uh, weatherman. And I'm not sure where these, oh, okay, so this is probably from the Easter, but just a, a darker design. But, you know, this was such a dope shoe. I was only able to win one pair of these. It was uh, really hard for me to get. I entered everywhere and I only won one pair at a uh, house of hoops. So I was able to get this shoe. Okay, so those are the KD6s I got. And then the last KD6 I got was the, um, was the, uh, K6 Elite. Now this is one of the best shoes I've ever gotten uh, because of the comfort on the shoe is extremely great. I mean the whole 180 air zoom unit uh, on the bottom, the material is the fly wire. Um, I actually used this shoe to work out in um, and I played some ball in it and uh, the traction is great. I jogged in it. Um, this is just a really durable shoe. I paid full price for it, which was 200 but um, later on they went on sale and dropped for 150 but hey, what can you do about it um, if the shoe goes on sale? I mean, the price was just really high at the time and people were only paying 130 for the shoe and the shoe dropped for 200 It was just, I think it kind of shocked people, but you know, it was well worth the price. This is just a really dope, dope shoe. Um, so this is one of my favorite pairs. Of KD6s as well. So those are all the KD6 models I got and we'll move on to the KD7s. Now the first KD7 that I picked up was the um, Independence. This is a really clean colorway. Um, I didn't expect this shoe to sell out so fast and it went by real quick so it was really hard for me to get um, but I was lucky enough to be able to get a pair. And I'm going to move this video along a little bit faster so you guys are not watching like every shoe. The second shoe I got was, uh, I think the, what, 35,000 degrees. So, you guys can see I've worn, I wear all my KD 6s I don't care what model it is, I wear them all. So, I like the, uh, the flashy colorway. Um, and the comfort on the shoes. When the shoes first dropped, it just was a really comfortable shoe, so I was really into it, and the prices weren't that bad. So I ended up copying a lot of KD6s, I mean uh, KD7s. Um, let me see, what did I get after that? I think I got the uh, Calm Before the Storm. So a lot of people were ragging on me about this being pink. Um, I really didn't care because I thought it was a you know a cool colorway. I like the... Uh, the gray on it and um, like I said I like the KD7 model because it was comfortable um, it was a low top I could rock it whenever I want and they were inexpensive so I could uh, you know wear them and not care about you know getting them dirty or messing them up after that I think I picked up the what did I pick up about the KD7 N7 so, um, I didn't get the clear water model because a lot of people confuse that with this model um, because of the blue colorway, but I think this looks better than the N7. I mean the uh, clear water because the design pattern on them here is really dope. The uh, totem pole design on here looks really nice with the gold. And I'm a sucker for gold on shoes. So, I uh, had to grab this pair. And I think it sold out eventually, but it took a little while for it to sell out, but um, I got that model, so that's why I passed on the clear water. And then, you know, after getting so many pairs of shoes of the KD7 model line, uh, and buying all, you know, a whole bunch of LeBrons and KDs, uh, it just got to be too much for me, so I didn't want to buy every colorway that dropped. I mean, like the Easy Money and all that stuff. So the colorway I got after that was the Bad Apple. And uh, we actually won a Victor Cruz A Tuesday contest where we won a $100 gift card from Foot Locker on this shoe. Um, we took a picture and submitted it to Foot Locker for Victor Cruz and we got a, we won the contest. So if you go down to his page and look at his past winners, you'll see our, our picture on there. And um, you know, you can see his signature on the inside. 
I really like this colorway because of it being uh, the all black. I know a lot of people didn't hate it on this shoe because, you know, it's the kind of basically almost like the Yeezy colorway from when Nike was making Yeezys. But, you know, Nike's always going to make this colorway because it was so popular um, back then. And then I think after that, what did I cop? The, uh... oh, I'm sorry. I cop this one. This is the KD7 uh, gold medal. This dropped all of a sudden. And I picked up this shoe before I think I picked up the um, N7 model or maybe it was, it was a little bit after. But this dropped so randomly that I had to rush to my store to get it. Um, and I was lucky enough to get a pair because uh, I didn't see any announcement on it. I just saw like a preview of it when it was first originally supposed to drop. But they didn't exactly tell me a date. And then all of a sudden, they said that it dropped. So I had to rush to my house of hoops to get them. And I was lucky enough to get a pair. I mean, I, I don't really even see anybody wear these. Um, or anybody in the mall that even has or that rocks these. Because um, it, it sold out so quickly. And uh, it came out so, like, so suddenly that I don't think people realize that this shoe came out but this is one of my favorite pairs because of the gold like I said I'm a sucker for gold model colors so this is uh, one of my favorite KD7 models I can't really say that um, I'm being a little bit contradictive because I'm saying all these are one of my favorite pair favorite pairs I just love all shoes in general so excuse me for saying that but after that, I picked up the, what, the BHM. Okay, I wasn't originally supposed to get this shoe at first. But my wife, um, we were just going to go buy her pair. And then I ended up buying, like, all three, K you know, BHM sh shoes for Kobe, LeBron, and KD. And I think I spent, like, $1,500 that weekend buying all those shoes. But this is a really dope colorway. You see the uh, BHM on there that really is a, a nice touch to it and the all black and white colorway is just really simple and it pops and stands out so I got that okay so after the uh, KD7 BHM let me see what I think I got I got the, uh, the KD7 floral now um, this was a little bit of, more of an expensive shoe I missed out on the KD6 floral um, but the quality on this one is really nice. The material is a cloth-like pattern. Up here is more of like a leathery. I can't really tell. But on the inside it's leather. So it makes like these squeaky noises. But you can kind of see it's like a... I don't know if this is suede or leather. But I got the KD7 Floral. This was a really nice shoe. Um, I really hesitated at first to pick them up uh, because of the $200 price tag, but I went ahead and bought them because uh, I knew I wouldn't probably be able to get them again unless I had to pay resale prices for them. So I went ahead and bought this shoe. So KD7 Plural. All right. And then the last one I think I got was the uh, KD7 Amp Pearl. And I really like this shoe a lot. I even bought the t-shirt to match it because, uh, you know, of course, it's the uh, Aunt Pearl model. Um, I really like this one because of the, uh, you know, it's just a dedication to cancer, you know, and for a good cause. You know, it says Kevin Durant, KL Cancer Fund. And uh, I like the angel wing on here. Uh, sneakerheads that, I mean, well, not sneakerheads, people that don't know anything about sneakers, they see the angel, angel wing on there, and then I had to go into a, like, full explanation of, like, what it means, and, you know, all the facts about it, and then they're like, oh, okay, but, um, I think this angel wing on here, uh, really defined this shoe, and, uh, it was probably one of the best models to drop for the KD7, I believe. So, I think the only KD7 model shoe I've missed out on, well, not missed out on, that I really wanted was the Global Game. 
and that shoe sold out really quick. I could have went in and actually bought it. They had my size still, but I passed because, like I said, I don't want to buy. I mean, look how many pairs I got: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine KD seven uh, regular models already. So I mean, 150, 200. You guys can see I spent a lot of money on KDs. Um, and then uh, what else did I get? I got the uh, KD5, KD Tray 5, uh, China model. The reason why I bought this shoe was because it was the China pack shoe. And uh, I like the uh, jade symbol on here with the gold. And then the diffused jade on the back. So uh, that's the reason why I got it. Like I said, I'm a sucker for gold. And... Um, this right here is all 3M, so if you were to take a picture of this, this would light up. So this was a really dope colorway, and if you see on the inside, it says 35KD35. So, um, I went ahead and copped that shoe. And then the last two shoes I got were, um, let me see here. So the only reason why I bought these shoes were because it went on sale. I think they were just selling them for because uh, the KD8s were about to drop, but what I got was the um, the KD7 Elite. Um, I think this was the team model or home, but I bought this one. I got this on sale for a hundred bucks um, at Champs, and uh, you know to get an Elite shoe for a hundred dollars that was less than the KD6, which was one. Uh, 130. Um, I just went ahead and copped it. Now these uh hyperposite material and all these vents, it really doesn't make any difference. I mean, this material is really stiff at the back, and it doesn't feel like it molds to your foot like a uh, like posit material. Um, so and then this rubber material on the front is really stiff and hard. So I think they could have done a really better job with this. Being at a $200 price range, I mean, it would have justified it if they would have put a 180, uh, 180 air zoom unit in it and um, made this material not so stiff. So I ended up getting that one, and I also got the uh, the Elevate model, which I like better, the colorway. Um, this has a 3M right here, so if I were to hit the flash on it. You will see that light up. And those are all the KD7s I got. So I got these two Elites. Both of these were for $100 each. Like I said, Champs had a huge sale on it. And dropped both of these prices for $100. Even the employees were surprised because, I mean, it was so cheap. I mean, this shoe had only dropped like two weeks before that sale. And, uh, you know, I was able to get it for $100. Plus use my rewards on it. So as you guys can see... What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And that's 18 pairs of uh, KD shoes I bought over the last 3 years. Um, I'm trying to keep uh, track of how many shoes I got. Because on Instagram a lot of people ask me uh, how many shoes I actually have. So I'm a, the next reviews will be of how many LeBrons and Kobe's I got. And then eventually I'll get down to my Jordans. So uh, anyways, uh, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate everybody that follows. And please give, it up, give me a thumbs up for the review. Thanks. Peace, guys.